when I was 19 years old and I moved out of my parents' house, I never thought that uh, I'd be living with my little sister again. But here we are in quarantine, and uh, she moved back in with me about two weeks back. And we uh, and we're sort of living in a 900 square foot little chante in downtown Santa Fe, and it's a bit of a struggle. Like she moved in with a nine pound dog named Julio, and I got my dog. She's like 160 pounds, so it's like there's a lot of there's a lot of bodies in that one little space, and it's been a bit of a struggle. Like she's like we have different the we have different theologies when it comes to like how how you maybe take care of the house or how much you clean but i think she's like starting to get more in line like most of the time like i'm doing most of the cook about 90 percent of the cooking she did today she made cream of wheat like my grand great grandmother uh she used to she didn't have any teeth so that's the only thing she ever ate was cream of wheat and soft boiled eggs so my sister like you know she's keep she's keeping some of the old family recipes a little bit too much sugar for my liking but you know We'll see, we also, my mom passed away a few years ago, and uh, my, my sister brought her urn, so we got my mom's urn sitting there in the living room, that's kind of weird, you know, so it's like right there on a table off to the side, so it's like, you know, so whatever you're doing, you're like, you're cooking, and you're like, feel like your mom's judging you, like when you're trying to make her recipes in the kitchen, and I don't know, like, maybe she is, maybe she isn't, who knows, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's not bad. I mean, I'd rather live with her than some of my ex-girlfriends. Like, she's like, she's way easier. You know, there's no fighting. We just like, you know, my sister, she gets pissed off, pissed off at me. She just walks out and leaves. It's not a big deal. I know she'll be back. <laughs>